What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm bringing you a very, very cool video and that is how to power level your character to 60 in under like what? 10, 15 minutes, you can get a brand new character to level 60 and use up all the Paragon points that you've accumulated over the course of the season. So I'm gonna do this here live with you. I got my buddy Damon here uh, to help me out. Now you do need at least one other person because you are gonna have to have somebody carry you. So you cannot do this solo. You do have to do this with at least one other person, but it goes insanely quick. So it's kind of similar to how Diablo 3 used to be and how fast you can level somebody up. So let's go ahead and do this this because until we get the armory it's really really nice that we can do this so we can create multiple characters so we can have different builds within the same class on here so i can play multiple quill volley builds or a poison build with a centipede or a jaguar build and without having to swap all my gear redoing my paragon and all that crap blizzard please give us the armory as soon as possible but first a message from today's sponsor mobilytics your one-stop shop for any of your Diablo 4 build profile needs. You can find everything here from regular creator profiles like mine, like Warlugs, or community based builds where everybody can upload their own builds and share all the information for the community. It has everything from tier lists to meta builds, as well as the in-depth guides into your builds themselves with assigned skills, the skill tree, Paragon boards, mercenaries for the new Spearborn season, and much, much more. Mobilytics is one of the best places to go to get questions answered for any builds that you need for Diablo 4. So let's get right into this. So I'm going to create a new character. I do need another spirit born because I need it for Quill Volley. This time we will make a female. And ooh, I really like this one. That one looks really good. So let's just go to go ahead and go to finalize. You've unlocked the ability to skip the campaign on any of our characters because we've already done this. So we will do season. Let's go up to campaign state. So start with the original, start with Vessels, start with Vessel of Hatred campaign completed. That's what we want. Let's go Warlug, all right? So we're gonna start the game. Now, this is where it doesn't matter what you pick, okay? Even though you can pick Penitent, go ahead and do this. It does not matter what you put it on because the person who is gonna be carrying you is gonna just do everything. We're gonna go into the pit. So because I can't select this, at the main menu we just have to pick hard you will be able to change this in the game because then it will register that you actually completed the campaign which will unlock expert plus penitent so it doesn't matter that you change that now before we invite our beloved teammate in here there's a few things that i need you guys to do if you've been playing the game and you have a character you need to go ahead and get a few items one you're going to need a elixir one of your yellow ones the elixir of tailwind i think there's another elixir that you guys can use you're gonna need an opal doesn't matter which one and then i'm bringing an extra elixir after this one runs out so the reason that you want to get the yellow elixir and an opal is because you can use these right at level one so we get eight percent here from the elixir of tailwind and we're going to get another 15 percent from the opal now that's what what is that 23 percent increased xp now there is one other thing that you cannot do at level one, which if your friend is friendly enough to do for you is to get an incense. Now the smallest or not the smallest, but the earliest incense that you can make, which I don't have access here because it won't let me, but the earliest one that you can make and use is at level 45. Obviously we're level one, we cannot do that. So you have to have your teammate do it. So before we pop these things, because they do last for 30 minutes, it should take less. So we can go ahead and pop these now. We're gonna pop this for 30 minutes. We're gonna pop an opal. And now we're gonna go ahead and invite our teammate in. Invite to party. It does not matter again, like I've said, what difficulty this is on. Cause all we're gonna do is we are gonna go over to character or caricature, 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 something like that. Now here's the best part. Normally, as a player, I cannot activate this because I'm level 60. However, when you have somebody with you who is level 60, they can go ahead and open this, and this is what's going to happen. My boy Muppet here is going to open up a tier 55. I'm going to accept, and we're going to go into the pit. Okay? Don't forget to pop the incense, so that way we have yeah. maximum EXP. So we'll have... We'll have a potion, we'll have a opal, 
we'll have an incense, and then we'll have our teammate. And then all you gotta do is just stand here while our teammate goes through and farms out the entire pit. And you can see the levels just being blasted. You can see my XP just going through the roof. The other really cool thing about doing this in the pit is because once the bar fills up, the portal to the boss actually spawns on me as well as your teammate. So now you don't have to worry about like doing this in Nightmare Dungeons where it depends on who the party leader is, where the shrine actually spawns. So wh whoever's not the party leader has to run to whoever the party leader actually is and it makes it really like tough to do and all this, right? But in the pit, the boss portal spawns on each player individually. So that way we can go in and just get the rewards there and we can do this very, very efficiently. So we're gonna go through this entire video and we're gonna do this until I'm level 60. You guys can see that I'm already level 17 while my teammate is absolutely blasting. Now also keep in mind, don't worry, even though they're in the next floor, I still gain XP because we are in this instance. Okay, so it matters about being in the instance. You don't have to do that like in Diablo 3 where you have to be on the same floor to actually receive the XP. All right, so this is very, very efficient. This is fantastic. I think this is one of the best things that is in the game for all, you know, like leveling your alternate characters. Uh, I think the devs should leave this in the game until they give us the armory because this makes it very cool to just make multiple characters each season power level them in 10 15 minutes and then we can just you know add all the gear to the new character for what you're playing so like i have all of the gear in my stash for the build that muppet is actually playing which you're going to see on screen here which is the dash quill volley build and you get to see him just obliterate and boom we're all done now the one drawback here is until you hit 60 you don't get to get any glyphs. None of them drop, so you're not gonna get any, okay? Because you can't get any glyphs yet until you're at the level. But you can at least get all of this stuff at the end. So then all we're gonna do is leave the dungeon and we're gonna rinse and repeat. You can see that we've only been doing that like that took like what? A minute and a half, two minutes? Not even. So now we're gonna do this and I'm already 36. So we're gonna go ahead and pop another one and we're gonna go in and do this again. Okay, now with all this, there is only one huge drawback that I wanna talk about while my teammate is absolutely blasting. And that is a few things. The biggest thing is our glyphs. So you can see that Paragon, once it opens, I don't have any glyphs and I won't have max glyphs or the glyphs that I've leveled up from an, another character or, another, or like in the same class. So like on my first spirit born, I have all the glyphs leveled up and or all the ones for my character build that I'm doing. And when this character hits 60, just like in the past, I'll have to find each and every single glyph again and I'll have to level each and every single one of them up. I do hope that in the future, the devs will allow the same class runes when you find them to just be there for every single alternate character of the same class that you make so if i love take the time to level up all my glyphs on my first spirit born and then i make three other ones then all the glyphs should be ready to go just like my paragon because when i hit 60 all 165 paragon points i'm gonna have ready to go to just put into the board so i can start really playing this character on torment one because you'll already have your gear sitting aside waiting your paragon sitting and waiting i don't see why that we can't have our glyphs also sitting and waiting i devs at blizzard i really hope that you guys do change that now the other side to that is like well war you know it's very very easy to level up your glyphs this season compared to any other season in diablo and that is true however it would be nice to just get that and have it just completely done you know, it would be nice just to have it done. So I do hope that the devs change that. So I do get all the rewards here. It's cool. You guys can throw on any of this gear if you really think it can help you. You know, while you're doing this, you don't really need to because I got all the gear already standing by for this character. So all this, you can really just go away. And keep in mind, this is going to be low level stuff because it's all attuned to what your character level is when you got it. 
So you guys can see that we're, we got 55 points. We're almost there. We're going to go ahead and pop another one. And you guys can see that this doesn't take very long at all. I mean, I'm 44. It may take this run plus maybe one more. It'll be two at the absolute most. Two at the most. Because also keep in mind that we are getting the party boost from my teammate actually having, you know, being in the party. So I won't get the party boost for being next to them. But I will get the normal 5%. So we got 5, 10, uh, 15. So we're at 25 plus 8. So we're at 33% improved in experience for this run. And that is the most that you can get. You only can get 5% more if you're, party, if you're like next to your party member. So now, see, I'm out of range. So I lose that 5%. Now it's back. I lose it. So if, you, if, you, if you're able to keep up, which depending on your teammates build, you may or may not be able to keep up with them and run through. If you have gear and ready to go, you can do that. Otherwise, you're at, what is this? 5, 10, or excuse me, 5 plus 8 is 13 and 15. So we're at 28% increased XP, which is just absolutely insane. And imagine if you did this with a third party member. Then you're standing next to someone who's also leeching XP. And then you will get that 5% because all you got to do is be next to one person. So I think that's just absolutely insane. So we're at 45. I do think that it is going to take this run plus maybe one or two more um, to actually get us to 60. But you guys can see that even through the length of this video that this is our third run and I'm already 45. It's been only 11 minutes into the video and we've only done three of them in like what five minutes and i'm already 45 so you can see just the xp just absolutely blasting this is better than any other thing you can do in the game better than nightmare dungeons better than infernal hordes better than everything you have no risk of your character dying and having to be revived and all that crap so it's just it's just super good and if you got a character that's using a build like muppets where you're just dashing and blasting through it you get so much xp and you do it so much faster so here we go boom done and that's it guys that's how you are going to power level your alternate characters this season i will cut really quickly to the end so you guys can see my character hit 60 and i will count on the screen to make sure you guys know how many runs it actually took all right and we are going in to do the boss on our sixth run guys this should on the turn in defeating the boss put me to 60. bang level 60. so now we get all 166 points of our paragon and a few things that i do want to note here so we still get to level up this headhunter four times which is fantastic because we didn't die so a few things to note here that yellow potion that we did pop keep in mind that if you do die it does go away and i did forget to mention uh the seasonal journey with your blessings if you do have all four that is a huge bonus of xp here but on our sixth run guys you can see that we did this in less than 15 minutes so getting a brand new alternate character all the way to 60 is just fantastic so all you got to do now is go farm all of your glyphs and re-level the glyphs for whatever build that you're playing on the new class but super super easy to do guys so again like the video comment down below let me know what you guys think don't forget to subscribe guys and as always stay gaming i'll see you guys in the next one peace